And now, marine weather around Alaska. Tonight's weather showing a storm system with a small craft advisory level winds and rain. Central Aleutians slowly spreading in toward the eastern Aleutians with high pressure off to the east, ridging into the interior, really drying it out now, especially across southern Alaska. And uh, so most of the precipitation should be over toward midnight and after. Some uh, remnant moisture here will affect Kodiak Island, as well as some showers on the eastern Arctic coast and the uh, Seward Peninsula bearing straight with a thing there. And some warm front rains into the Panhandle slowly moving northward. And that will, uh, as that low, as this low slides up the coastline tomorrow, it's going to keep it cloudy and damp there over the southeast coast. But sunshine, south central Alaska, much of the interior, all the way up to the north slope, maybe even the Arctic coast, except here on the west side, chance of some moisture there with a weak trough in that area. And some rain now sliding into the eastern Aleutians and into the Pribilofs later in the day will kind of hang up across those areas as it pushes into about false pass during Saturday with the front weakening now along with the wind and rain associated with it. Main low center churning out over the southwest Bering Sea. Good high pressure in over interior Alaska for Saturday. Risk of a shower on the Arctic coast there, central Arctic coast, Wainwright area, Utah Gavik, you know, with that weak trough. And then the remnants of, let me back it up here, this low weakens into a trough, but pulls some moisture for a chance of showers along the North Gulf Coast, Southern Kenai Peninsula, east side of Kodiak Island, as well as the Panhandle. Coastal water forecast on the South Coast, a little gusty there along Prince Wales Island, Southeast 20 gusts 35 knots tomorrow. Otherwise on the uh, Central Coast, anywhere from Southeast to Northeast winds at 15. Variable winds five to 10 knots here for the North Coast. Lynn Canal, north at 15, north 10 for Stevens Passage. Southeast winds at 20 knots there for Clarence Strait. And for the day on Saturday, south winds 10 knots there for Prince of Wales Island, central coast, east to southeast winds 10 to 15 knots and east northeast release 10 to 15 on the north coast. Lynn Canal, Glacier Bay, Stevens Passage, north winds at 10 knots with uh, south winds at 10 knots for Clarence Strait. Prince William Sound, west winds at 10 knots tomorrow. But uh, the North Gulf Coast looking at 10 knot winds from a variable direction, light and variable at 10. Kamishak Bay, same thing. Cook Inlet, also variable winds at 10 knots, northwest at 15 for the Barren Islands. And for Saturday, variable winds 10 knots continue from Kamishak Bay up through Cook Inlet. East winds 20 knots, so that weakening trough coming up into the area there for the Barren Islands. East northeast 15 to 20 knots along the North Gulf Coast and north at 10 for Prince William Sound. Kodiak Island, variable winds at 10 knots for the day Friday. Same thing for the Alaska Peninsula, light variable winds at 10 knots west at 10 for Bristol Bay. And for Saturday, southeast winds, 15 to 20 knots for the peninsula, northwest at 10 in Bristol Bay and Kodiak Island. Northeast winds, 15 to 20 knots. For the eastern Aleutians tomorrow, Southeast winds, 15 to 25 knots. South to southeast, 25 knot winds for Adak and Atka. And for the western Aleutians, south to southeast winds, 15 to 25 knots. Outlook for Saturday, Kiska to Shimia, north to northwest winds at 15. Otherwise here for the central Aleutians, south to southwest winds, 15 to 20 knots. And small craft advisories for the Fox Islands for south to southeast winds at 20 to 25 knots with seas up to eight feet. And for the southwest coast tomorrow, west and northwesterlies at 15 knots, St. Lawrence Island, west at 15, southwest 15 for uh, <clears throat> Norton Sound and southeast at 20 for St. Matthew Island, small craft advisories for the Pribilof Islands, southeast winds 25 knots, but seas at about five feet. And for the day Saturday, small craft advisories now for the Pribilofs and St. Matthew Island, still southeast 25 knots, seas eight to nine feet. Light southeast winds for the southwest coast, light south winds for St. Lawrence Island and a light west breeze for Norton Sound. Central Eastern Arctic coast tomorrow, southwest 20 knots, seas four to six feet. Good small craft advisories here 
with that uh, trough, uh, southwest 30 knots to the western Arctic coast with eight foot seas. Chuck CC, south winds 25 to 30 knots with six to seven foot seas. I'll look for Saturday. Winds coming down a little bit here, south 20 to 25 knots for the Chuck CC and four to five foot seas. Down to 15 knots now for the western Arctic coast out of the south and west winds 10 to 15 knots for the central and eastern Beaufort Sea coast.